Here we have a video about the suspension forks. Now this is a suspension fork sold on eBay, AliExpress, places like that. The KRSEC suspension fork. Um, look at this photo here, it looks pretty skookum when you first see it. On this side it says ABS, as in absolute. So it's like Mountain 2's absolute damper. The only thing this ABS stands for is absolute junk. Um, it does not work very well at all. Um, the other side is air, and yes it is an air fork, but only for the time it has it keeps the air in. So I bought a set of these on eBay for uh, the £89, which let's not forget is not far off the price of a RockShox XC32 on sale, or an RST first, um, which are both massively superior forks to this old thing. Um, now the ones I received had a problem with the stanchions, where they, the, uh, where they were basically bent, um, they were bent inwards, they weren't running parallel to each other, they were both bent in, so they barely lined up with the lowers. Um, so if you remove the lowers, it was extremely hard to get them back on again. Um, and as a result, even when the, before I removed the lowers, the fork had massive stiction issues. You would push the fork down, and it would barely rebound. Um, there's no rebound adjustment on this fork, it's only an on-off lockout, so you can't make the rebound faster. But it wasn't because of the, lock, the rebound or damping cartridge that the um, rebound was slow. It was because the fork stanchions were not parallel to each other properly, it was bent. Um, and also the bushings are made out of real cheap nasty plastic, um, ABS to be exact. Um, real, really poor fork. I mean this is one of the worst forks I've ever used. Now I'm not saying there isn't good forks made, at, made in China on, on eBay and stuff like that, but so far I haven't found one um, that's particularly brilliant. I've tried the Zoom brakes as we saw the other day, the Zoom hydraulic disc brakes for £30. Those were an absolute bargain. I suppose you could say DNM counts as an off-brand suspension fork that make some okay stuff, although that stuff's quite hard to get in the UK. And it's not really off-brand because it's quite well known outside of U the UK. Um, but yeah, these, these sorts of forks they're a bit sketchy, to be totally honest. Um, I took the fork apart, as you'll see in my other video. Sorry, the house is a bit of a mess in that video. Um, there's some dust and stuff on the floor. I've been doing some construction and whatever. Um, yeah, I did have a sweep up afterwards. <laughs> um, but the uh, cartridges inside, as you saw, clearly saw, are SR Suntour. The lockout cartridge, I should be calling it a damper cartridge, but it's not really. It's just an on-off lockout. That's all it, all it really is. Um, is an SR Suntour unit. Now whether it's fake or whether it's a genuine Suntour unit, who knows? Um, try to get a picture of the back of the fork. The back of the fork also said SR Suntour on it. And I can't actually get, they've not got a picture of the back of the thing. Oh well, they have, but it's not got a little sticker on there. They took the sticker off. So uh, yeah, um, it looks like a good fork f from the pictures. And it seems really impressive. I mean, I actually ordered the green one. They couldn't even order me the colour. It only has black on here. They can only send me a black one. So that was a bit disappointing. The advertised travel was 120mm on the 26. Uh, my one, I think, was 80 being a 29er. Um, it only realistically got 25. And that's if you pushed the thing real hard down. Uh, because of the stanchion issues again. There's so much diction there. It was unreal. Um... Also, obviously with the plastic bushings, the thing wasn't going to last five minutes, it was absolutely horrendous. Um, I put the thing on a bike, and I ran it for a cross-country ride. Um, it snapped at the crown stanchion interface, the CSU failed. The stanchion pulled out of the crown on a cross-country ride, and I do mean cross-country, I was riding to work at the time. Um, yeah, so it's quite funny really that anyone would even consider this thing a good suspension fork. Sorry about the lack of uh, screen capture, but um, yeah, I don't have the, uh, the graphics cards being a pain in the backside at the moment, so yeah. Anyway, that concludes this video on this cheap suspension fork from China. Um, I'm not saying all cheap suspension forks from China are bad, but yeah, this is also sold underneath other brand names such as uh, Baloney. Oh, here we go. Oh, L-U-T-U is another one. It's the same um, 
basic looking damper. Oh no, this is another one. We've got an upgrade, lads. This has rebound adjustment. I'll be sure to check out one of these. I'm sure it's just as terrible. We'll find out. But yeah, it's sold under baloney. I think that's the one that is exactly the same. I can't finally find it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's got gold coloured stanchions, but I assure you that doesn't mean anything. It's even got the Suntour RSLO lockout. It's that picture right there. That's our Suntour lockout. Oh dear. That's hilarious. That concludes this video. Don't buy this junk. It's a rip off. See you later. You're better off with a Suntour fork, the RockShock XC28, the RST first. Any of those are better than this crap. See you later.